Yo, Sammy, what's up, brother? Oh, man, what up? What's up, brother? Thanks for oh, coming man. on, man. I'm actually working. <laughs> yeah, where are you from? It's, it's not working, it's in township. Uh -huh. Where are you from? I'm from Portugal. Ah, yeah, what part? Lisbon, it's around Lisbon. It's not, not Lisbon, but around. Uh-huh. Here is my friend, so, from Brazil. Yeah? What's up, brother? Bom dia. <laughs> Bom dia. Yo, so what's your question, brother? What's my what? Sammy, I, what's your question? I don't, I don't have a question. I just came no. to see you. You just want to say hello? Yeah. How did you find my content? First, uh, I think from Instagram, I, I used to follow a guy called Technique Trainer or something. I, I play football. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Where do you play? Club, professional club in junior level, not in, in the senior level. Uh-huh. What so club? It's it's called Moitense. Okay, yeah, I've heard of them. Right. Uh, so, by this guy, I... I found you, and then uh -huh. after finding you, it, it was actually really, really, I'm really grateful to find you and and uh, Andrew, the guy from I'm, Smart, Andrew, yeah, Andrew Mold. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he's also very, very intelligent, good on game analysis. Yeah, I, that, I'm grateful that, for your support, man. No, I, I always see your content, and I love it. Uh -huh. well, yeah, I, it helps you? Yeah, it, it, it did actually. Like I had groin pain, and now now I don't have anymore. I was suffering from it for for a long time, quite a long time. Uh huh. But now I don't have it. Like I I do your mobility mobility stuff like before every team training session. I I don't do awesome. it, like when I train alone, but before uh -huh. every training session I do it because. I feel fr uh, fresh and like light. Yes, awesome. I, I believe when you believe something, it it works. I believe it it prevents yeah. from me injury. So you're absolutely right, dude. I think that's that's a huge part. I think in whatever you do, you know. Yeah, I think it, um, when when, it's when you believe <laughs> when you believe, you know. I don't know if you know the guy named Brandau on YouTube. Yeah, I know this guy. I know. You know, it's saying when you believe anything is possible, and it's really true. You know, if you, if you put your mind to it and you believe it, it'll work. You know. Yeah, I I did other mobility stuff like, but I don't really like. I think oh, it, it's actually good, but I don't feel. But I when I do from your content, like yeah, I play it on laptop and I start doing it. Although I I remember every 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 step but i still do this i don't know why yeah yeah because you trust in the trainer that's why you trust in the trainer that's why yes how old are you i'm 17 actually i turn turn uh -huh. 17 yep and, and you want to make it to the first team yeah it's actually quite tough like i i made progress this year because it, um Last year when I was playing, I, I am technically, physically fast and I'm not too big, you know, but I, I, I have strength. What I position can, do you play? I, I'm a guess, play, winger. Yeah, winger and uh, sometimes I play left mid, midfielder. Huh? I am fast, that's, that's why my coach, like, let me play in, mid, uh, he lets me play in winger. Wing What's position. your greatest strength? Dribbling and shooting, I, I I would say. How about your greatest weakness? I, I, you know, sometimes I don't scan that much. I scan, but sometimes, you know, uh, it's when I am inside the box. Sometimes I'm not calm. Like I lose. Yeah, I understand. I lose. I also lose lose focus sometimes. Like. I mean, a match, but I'm just walking around like. Uh, Why are you thinking of the girls, man? Thinking of Portuguese girls? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> girl, like I think probably I don't know what, what 
<laughs> but I don't think of Cordova. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Um, so, so what do you what do you think you need to get to the first team? I, I, I said uh, I had the physical aspects, but I didn't have the mental aspect. So after mm. making the Andrew by you yourself, mm. I analyzed game and now uh, when I'm never stressed. Trust me, this year I was never stressed because mm -hmm. physically I was fit, and then my mind was so sharp. So, um, yeah, I want to make it to the first team, but you know, it's it's gonna be difficult. But yeah, of course it is, bro. But you're young, like, bro. You live in Portugal, and you're you're playing for for a, you know a professional academy team, bro. You got to take that opportunity, you know. Yeah, I I know, like. Uh, both of my friends they actually trained with the first team really uh-huh yeah yeah they did they did but i i haven't made it yet like i i see when they play it's like completely different man what do you mean they're, like uh they are professional and uh, yeah. I was watching their training uh, training session that day. I was uh, uh, my training session was done, and I was just sitting and watching their training session. Like, you see, they are just walking, and then he scored a goal. Like, wow. Yeah, I hear you. All right, brother. Well, good to have you on. I appreciate your support, man. If you have any I, questions, I really, reach out. I really love your content, and like, I follow. Thank you, you brother. Everywhere. I wish you the best of luck, man. Have a good one, Sammy. You too. All right, brother. Hey brother, what's going on, man? Turn your mic on. Yeah, it's Sammy, it's Sammy from the chat. What's up? Hey, what's up, brother? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Good, man. So just introduce yourself, how old you are, where you're from, position. Yeah, so, so I'm, I'm 17 years old. My name's Sammy. I come from, uh, I live in a town called Navin. It's like 30 minutes away from Dublin in Ireland. Uh -huh. And yeah, I play center back or defensive mid. Like Awesome, bro. Yeah. How tall are you? Uh, six foot, six foot one, around that height. Uh -huh. I think, well, for my position, is the most important thing is, like, your positioning, like, being aware of, of like, where people are around you and stuff like that. So, like, of course, man. You have a yeah. specific question for me? Not raw. I was just going to really actually going to ask you more about uh, you, like, kind of what you're up to and, like, what uh -huh. your plans even. And, like, what do you think? I appreciate you. Like, I what appreciate you, you for? Like your content is like really good. Like some of your mobility stuff. Like I have team training in an hour and forty five minutes, and like some of your stretches and stuff that you were even posting today. Like I was putting yeah. a few of them in before. I awesome. Guess, like I'm getting my mobility in now, man. Yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah, man. I mean, personally, for me, uh, you know anything about my story? Not really. I, like, I heard that. Well, like I heard that you're kind of like uh, you weren't really serious too much when you were younger and then like you kind of got into it yeah. around I don't know if it was 18 or 21 but it was like a later age yeah so me. so basically I, I played I played one year at, at the division one level in the US um, and I think I was 19 20 years old and you know division one in the US is decent it's really physical but um, I got this opportunity to play out in Germany um, and, you know, I was supposed to go back for my sophomore year to play again in college. And I remember the exact moment I told my friend I was walking with him and I was, you know, I told him, you know, since I can't play football in Europe, you know, my plan is to, you know, marry a girl in Europe and have a kid over here and have him do it, you know. Yeah. And then that night, that night I, I went back home and I thought about it. I was like, you know, what, screw this. I'm going to do it myself, you know. So basically, ever since then, I've been on a journey, you know, for six, seven years now. I played three years in Germany. I started in the sixth league. Uh, I think I played one or two seasons in the sixth league, played uh, two or three seasons in the fifth league in Germany. And then I made a move to Sweden, um, got injured in Sweden. And, you know, I was dealing with this groin stuff. And then I made a move over to Israel, played there for a year. And once again, this groin stuff popped up. Most recently, I just got sports hernia surgery. Um, and now I'm in Latvia. I'm playing in the, in the second league here. Um, yeah, just trying to get my, game, my games in and get my game confidence back and then see what I can do. But, you know, as you see on the side, in parallel, I like helping others because, you know, uh, personally, you know, I, I didn't get where I am at, 
I'm not where I am because I'm genetically gifted. It's because of hard work and, and details. And uh, I, I really love people who have dreams and who are willing to work for their dreams, not just speak about it. You know, it's just, it's easy to speak, but you got to take action. So I want to put out good quality, educational, scientific content with a practical standpoint to help people get to the next level. So that's, that, that's like a little sum up of, of, of me. Yeah, it's really motivational to hear, like, because, like, for me, kind of, I was similar, but, like, when I was younger, kind of, like, I'd say around 12, 13 and stuff, like, uh -huh. my friends were, like, you should always, like, join a football team, but, like, there were loads of different reasons I couldn't join, but yeah. I also probably could have put more effort into it, but, like, I still play, like, outside with them, like, every day, basically, and still in school, like, we won, like, a load of trophies, like, when we were uh -huh. in secondary school, and I'm, like, yeah, so... I just finished my equivalent of like high school over there in America. It's called the Leavens are over here in Ireland. And then, yeah. So, yeah, they have like kind of more convinced me like now, like I should try and just try and push for it more. Cause especially last year during COVID and lockdown, I kind of like got a dream that I could actually make it if I really worked hard. Cause like I've, since I'm like left foot and I think I have like specific skills. That's sets, awesome. Like that's awesome. over here, over here, like they say that the most like players and most demand are right. I mean, both foot players and then left foot and then right foot. And then I just think that. Like my tackling and interception is like quite good, so I was like, "That's uh, awesome! Why not give it a shot?" So then, yeah, basically yeah, I'm just I'm playing with like I'm playing like not like a too low level, but like I'm playing with a decent level. And then, like when I'm going to university or college, I'm planning to like go and play and see if I can get a trial for an underage like academy in like the top league yeah. in Ireland. But, like, yeah, do that. I mean, dude, the most important thing for you, man, right now is game time, and then getting yeah. video of that game time. And then obviously, you know, doing individual training on your own to improve your strengths and also improve your weaknesses. Um, but like you said, I mean, I, I think also something that's underrated, under talked about is whatever your strengths are, triple down on them, you know, really be an absolute master. Yeah, of it's, that better to, it's better to be a specialist in one thing than like to like there's good like it's good to be like utility player sometimes but like unless you're like above average in like every like thing that you can do i think sometimes it is actually better to like nail down on one of your strengths and like, also play to your strengths in matches as well because like i see people for sure and, like, for sure that's huge to, dude they keep trying to like uh well like it's good to like obviously try things that like, you've done in training but like they try and change their game completely in a match so i just think that sometimes it's good to stick to your guns and like I like what you said there, man, it, 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 especially in games, play to your strengths, man. Um, you know, in trainings, you know, you can risk things and you can work on things. But like you said, man, I think playing to your strengths in games is huge, is huge. What would you say, um, you know, if you were to make a quick assumption, what would you say you're lacking uh, to get to the professional level? Well, I'm lacking, um, I would say probably like... I'd say I definitely need a lot more game time because over here, like, yeah, it is very physical like, in Ireland, isn't it? Yeah, it is very physical, especially the higher up the leagues you get. Like, there's like, and the good thing about playing in Ireland as well is that like a lot of British clubs are connected and they do have scouts like over here. And obviously with Brexit and stuff, it is harder to sign if you're under eighteen. But like the the league, the adaptation process between like the Irish leagues and the British leagues isn't too too terrible like if if you're mm -hmm. good enough in ireland you probably could make it over in england or even over in europe as well yeah but yeah that's awesome. i would say one thing i'm probably lacking is like i still feel like my position is good but i still feel like i could go for that one next level so i feel like the more game time i get the better it'll yes. become and then yeah yeah i think also just being more comfortable on the ball like and also getting out of tight spaces in different situations for sure like that's for sure that i know that the more time i'm playing that i can work on it and the better i do in training Better yeah, spend time with the ball, man. Really just yeah. spend time with the ball and, and, and really develop a relationship with it, you know? Yeah, because um, versus, like, yeah, just even being able to, like, that's why, I, like, I like doing, like, sometimes, like, just clones and stuff like that, but most of the time, I prefer to actually just, like, be playing with my friends sure. and, like, do Yeah, go like play small-sided. It's more, it's more game-specific, like, it's better to be doing things that you'd actually do in a match and, like, turning and doing proper movements that you would in a match and being comfortable Facts. in those situations so that when you actually do have to impress, like, you're on top of your game. So, yeah, that's facts. Or you, you could do a combination of both. I mean, like, I, I like for people to do to do ball mastery, things like that, juggling technique work on their own so they could get comfortable with that technique in a in an environment that um, 
doesn't tax their brain, right? So they could get comfortable with that technique. And then that advanced level to, is to get more complex and then use it in a yeah. game, use it in a small sided boom, use it in a team training, then you could use it in a real match. So it's progression with everything, I think. Yeah, well, I think another thing that I'd say that I probably need to improve more is like my mentality. Like, like I think the mental side of football, like I see even too from my friends, yeah. my friends that are professionals as well, it is really, really important. Like, especially when things ah. really start to get tough, you need to like be able Dude, to- Dude, it's, it's, it's a dog eat dog world, man. No one, yeah. you know, I always say it and, and, and it might seem harsh to people, but at the end of the day, when you realize no one cares about you and your career, that's when you're free. You got to take ownership of it. And, you know, like- once you take ownership of it and you say it's on me, then then you're good, you know? Yeah, because unless you're actually in a club and you properly know people, they basically treat you as kind of an asset, like a business. Like, they can oh, ship you yeah, off it's or business, anything. You're bro. Not, you know, yeah, you're not really, like, they don't really have too much in a, an attachment to you. Like, if you're not, like, bringing something of value to them, they'll ship you off at any time. So that's Facts. one thing I always Facts. try and keep in the back of my head. Facts. But, yeah, bro, hey, thanks for coming on. I appreciate your no support. Problem. And uh, good luck with your journey, brother. Yeah, thank you. Keep up the good content. Like, it really inspires us. Yeah. I appreciate you, man. Keep up that support, bro. Yeah, no problem. Peace, right, bro. Hey, brother. What's up, man? Hey, how you doing? Good, bro. How are you doing? What, what's your name? Where are you from? How old are you? Um, I'm Zohim. Uh, I'm 16 years old, and I'm from India, Bangalore. Love it, brother. Love it, brother. How'd you find my content? How did I find your content? Yeah. Uh, one of my friends was showing me like some ball master drills and I was like, this is tight. And I checked awesome, your whole page. And, yeah. Awesome. You enjoy it? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's really good. I've been uh, using all your mobility routines and your, uh, your workout videos and your football drills and stuff. Good, yeah. man. Is it helping you? Yeah, it's, it's been helping me quite a bit. Uh, I've definitely improved on my on my tactical side of football. And yeah. Awesome. Love that, brother. Love that. So what's your question? Um, I don't know. I just I just wanted to come on your live. <laughs> so I say what's up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, I mean, good, I guess my question would be like, I mean, what's like, some advice you would give like for me as a 16 year old i mean what what's your you know what's your goal what were your goals? i want to i want to play professional professional football you want to yeah. play professionally yeah. in india in europe in the us where the, the the best that i can do i want to i want to just reach my potential mm -hmm. so where are you currently playing um i'm playing for this uh, club in bangalore india it's okay. Like uh, it's a uh, it's like an amateur league, so it's not really that that great. But like uh, you know, I'm starting out. With, yeah. How and and like I don't really know the the system in India. What's the what's the process? Is it academy based? Uh, youth team going into pro? How do they how do they run it over there? Yeah. So there there there's like three three main divisions. Like, uh, -huh. uh, you get into the third division. I don't know. They're playing for an academy or something, and then you move up to the I League, and then it's the so Indian is third league, league pro. Uh, yeah, I think I think it's okay. it's like semi pro or something. Yeah. Okay. So so yeah, second okay. league from, is from, like pro. Uh huh. Yeah. So from there, man, this is what I would say. I would say as a sixteen year, what what position do you play? Uh, left wing. Left wing. Okay. What 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 would you say your strengths are? Probably dribbling and uh, I don't know, maybe my touch. Yeah. Okay. First thing I would be I would say is um, work on your goal scoring, work on your crossing, become become a guy that's good at um, at uh, what's the word I'm looking for uh, the end the end action. Uh, it's a be there's a better word there, but a goal or a cross, some kind of action, mm -hmm. a shot or a cross, a goal or an assist. You want an uh, end product. You want to be a guy who can constantly produce an end product, especially as a winger, you know, um, because, you know, if we look at the, the most the most wanted guys on any team, it's the people who can produce, you know, and 
I'm a defender, so it's unfortunate, yeah, but for sure. I, I would say you need to be able to produce an end product. So first thing would be get good at, at producing end products. Second thing would be get on a team where you can be a standout player. You can be the best player, film your games. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then, you know, from there, it's on you, man. It's on you. You, you mm -hmm. develop a good relationship with the coach. Always be a good dude to every single teammate, no matter if you're better than them, worse than them, whatever. Always be a good guy. Create, make your name. You know, you got to start small. You're very young. Make a good name. Create a good reputation. And then yeah. from there, it's up to you, you know. And, and, and you know, um, just like with everything, you got to have proof. So, like I said, develop that end product and then get it on yeah. video. And then from there, you start networking. Uh, be a good person to people. And don't – when you're a good person to someone and when you have a relationship with someone, don't just look what you can get out of it. Be a good guy and that's yeah. it. For sure. But yeah, man, I appreciate you. Thanks for the support on the yeah. content Thanks. and I uh, wish Thanks you luck. Thanks for all man. your help and all your For content. sure, my guy. Peace out, yeah. brother. Thanks. Yo, look who it is, man. What's up? What's up, Rick? Yo, man, how's everything? Everything's good, you know? Living life. Yeah, Working dude, I saw you in Guatemala place. for a bit. Yeah, man. I went for uh -huh. the last eight months. My grandma was sick, so I had to go visit her. You know, I thought it was her time of passing. She survived. Uh -huh. She's all right. Good, yeah, man. Good, good to man. hear. Yeah, She got COVID twice, actually. Really? Yeah, wow. Actually. I didn't even know that was possible. Yeah, it is. In Guatemala, there's not a lot of vaccines, so she was very exposed to people. There was one point where I couldn't leave my house for two months. It was really? that bad. Jeez, yeah. man. Wow. Yeah. But Hey, thank God she uh, she she survived, man. Yeah, no, I'm glad she did too. I thought it was her end, but now we're gonna throw her yeah. a 90th birthday party in September. So wow, that's good. class. Good <laughs> stuff, man. How are you doing? How are you feeling? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm uh, back on the routine, you know, the one that you gave me. I was off uh -huh. it for a bit, but I'm all back on it again. Uh huh. And it's such a game changer when you're doing your your stretches, all your mobility, yeah. your warm ups, like you did, man. It really does help out. Oh, yeah. Dude, Especially it's, you know, it's, game. yeah, I mean, dude, it's like, like I always say, man, when you take care of all those, all that stuff, I mean, your whole life literally really just changes. And I think, like I always say, man, I think, you know, you, your body changes, which is awesome, but your mind changes. And that's the most important, especially we can see, you know, with, with COVID and, and, and what's going on with the world people are you know people have always struggled with mental health that's a fact but right. when you you know with all this um isolation and things like that i think it's gotten worse so i think the most important thing is taking care of yourself you know like i always say so right no and i agree yeah everyone's like you said mental health is a big thing people don't really mm -hmm. think that they can push themselves to what they really can do and you really can sure. do it especially with your program you can do a lot For of things sure. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it, man. How are the vibes out in Guatemala? They're good. I was actually going to yeah. tell you, I played for the third division team out there, Palencia FC. Oh, I yeah? I got a tryout with them, yeah, and it was great. They loved me. Uh -huh. I couldn't uh -huh. be on the That's team awesome. due to my age, but I would go and train with them to help them out to get better. Because the, wow. the youth team would go from like 19, I think they said, to 23. And there was uh -huh. one 26-year-old, and I'm like, I'm too old. So they're like, no, but we're going to bring you into practice because we like how you play. And, like, you, you're you teaching awesome. the kids how to play. So I'm like, yeah. That's awesome. The experience always helps younger kids, especially, like you said. Like, you were just For helping sure. this other guy right now. Like, all the experience that we can give the youth, it makes them a better player and can possibly become more than that, become a pro, become For sure. a role model for us. But they always look sure. at us, too, for assistance with things. So, yeah, it was and, great. Exactly. I mean, you know, as an older player with experience, I mean, there, there's a quote that just um, talks about history. But it's a similar thing. Like, you have experiences that these younger kids have never seen before. You know, you, you've learned from your mistakes. You've learned from your successes. Mm -hmm. So it's just about passing on that good stuff to them. So they don't make the same mistake and they can do the same successes. And I think, um, man, that's huge. Like, especially like you said, as an older guy, you want to be a role model. You want to be a leader and you want to, most importantly, I think is you got to influence people by your actions, not your words. 
that's what I'm trying to do at the club I'm at right now. There's a lot of young players, uh, you know, a couple guys with a lot of good potential. And, and I try to show these guys with my actions, not just my words. Right, exactly. And that's good. Because some of them just look at you like, oh, that's another, just a very good player. He can't really yeah. push me to do a lot of things when in reality they can. Every type mm -hmm, of knowledge mm -hmm. that you get from somebody is always new knowledge for you. Dude, you can learn from everyone. Everyone and anyone. So Exactly. Oh, yeah. I agree with that. That's what yeah, I do man. with these kids in Guatemala. Because they're like, oh, we thought in America you guys didn't know how to play soccer. And I was like, no, <laughs> that's no. That, they still know. have that same uh, stereotype. Yeah, man. I'm like, no, we do know how to. He's like, you're actually a good player. I'm like, yeah, I, I played in a couple of good clubs. It's not, yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah. It's, like, it's not like I'm a bad player. We are not bad. Yeah, yeah. It's just that some yeah. of us are better, but... Um, well, I think that stereotype was, has just been created over the many years before. But now, I mean, look at all the players we got. We got guys at Barcelona, guys at Juve, guys at Chelsea, Dortmund. So, I, you know, I know I know in Europe that, that mindset is definitely changing. Yeah, no, it um, is. Yeah. I can definitely agree with that. Yeah, our whole, our whole U.S. national team is all European players. No yeah. one is in the U.S. except for maybe like, <laughs> uh, who is it, Sebastian Linguet that plays for FC... Was it LAFC? Yeah, and also that kid, Kellen Acosta, who's who's a good player. Yeah, he plays for I think he plays for Kansas or something like that. Yeah, yeah Kansas or Dallas. Dallas. One of those things, yeah. But those yeah. guys are excellent players for the oh, yeah. team. They're a good influence on them. They play very well at their position, and they're doing well with these European players. They're all young. Everyone's young. I think the for average sure. is like twenty three, twenty four. Yeah, it's dude. It's 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 great to see, man. I I. I I wonder what the influence is, but I think I see, I think a lot of these, these, these American players are going to Europe early. You know, they're going to Europe at a younger age, which is big. And hopefully a lot of, you know, European coaches and the European mindset is getting over into the U S with, you know, the transition between the, the systems now. So, right. yeah, I mean, it, dude, it's hopeful, man. It's hopeful what's going on in the U S. Yeah. No, I see a lot of players here. Like we have, I think we have three clubs here. We have the Juve Club, the Bayern Club. And I think they just opened up a Real Madrid Club. And I've seen two kids, Brazilian kids and like a Salvadorian kid, go to the um, Bayern Club and one kid went to the Juve Club. I think we have wow. one club too, yeah. So those kids were good. They were That's very awesome, good. They were also dude. like 14, 15. I'm like, dude, go do your thing. You're going to be a yeah. man. Of course, man. At that age, man, you got to do it. Yeah. I have a... I have a friend too that he went to Spain for three years and he came back because he wanted to finish school with his high school friends. I'm like, what are you doing? Girl? Yeah. You have yeah. a perfect chance to go play in Europe. He's like, Dude, I want exactly. to graduate. I'm like, your friends will always be there for you. You Fact. need to push your his dad, his dad was like, Osman, I don't know what's going on through this kid's head. I'm like, Yeah, you pushed him to be the best version of you, and he's a very good soccer player, but he has he doesn't have that elite mentality that he wants yes. to be a pro. He, he played in Europe. He played, what I forget what team he played. I think he played for like Malaga. Some okay, wow. Like, yeah, so he yeah. was at the Youth Academy and then he was on the under 21 club. And I'm like, what are you doing here? Did you need to go back and play? And yeah, he's a very yeah. Good player. And he's like, no, I, I, I don't want to play anymore. And I'm like, why? What what happened? He's like, I yeah. Well, with that, with that too, man, you got to go. There, there's two routes. Like, you know, it, it, you can't push him too much. If so if he doesn't want to do it, you know, I like, yeah, you give him a little bit of oomph and you tell him what's going on. But sometimes people got to see for themselves, you know. Yeah. Or maybe he was on the bench over there. I Like, I don't know. I wasn't there. Yeah, but still, it's, you know, everything, everything is mindset. Like the, like the guy who was on before, man, like everything is mindset in the game. You know, you got to stay focused and you got to realize the, the opportunities that you have, you know, and make the most of them. Yeah, it's a lot of sacrifice. A lot of sacrifice. Oh, for sure, dude. For yeah. sure. Like, I can understand, like, his whole family was here and framing him, like, Boston Mass. And he was mm. out in Spain doing his thing. And oh, like, it's not easy, man. You miss, you miss a lot of birthday parties, weddings, holidays. You're, and, and, and a lot of the time, you know, in those places, you're, you know, you're alone, you know. And, yeah, you could FaceTime people do face-to-face, -face, you know. I mean, FaceTime, but it's nothing the same as face-to-face as, as -face conversation. Right, yeah. With your own culture and everything, you know? So. Right, yeah. But the kid's still good. I've seen him play a couple of times, pick up over here with us, and the kid is yeah. good. He is very good. Yeah. But, but yeah, man, hey, good to good to talk to you. Uh, keep in touch. And, uh, dude, when I'm back in the U.S. in Boston, we got to catch up, grab a dinner or something. 
Yeah, I'm down. Yeah, just let me know. I'm over here. Uh, I'm over here till right, September third. So, let me know okay. If you, if you come afterwards, I might stay here till maybe Octoberish. I don't know yet. Okay. Yeah. All right, man. Yeah, we'll keep in touch. Yeah, we'll keep in touch. All right, Rick. All right, brother. Be good, homie. Take care, man. Alex, what's up, brother? Yo, what's up, Rick? How you doing, man? I'm good. What's your name? Where you, where I know your name's Alex, but introduce yourself. Yeah. Where are you from? Your age, uh, position? Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm Alex. I'm from Austria, uh, Salzburg. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm 17 years old and I'm playing as a central midfielder. Yeah. Awesome. What what team? Um, it's actually, uh, it's called Altmark, like it's like a town here. And okay. We're like a under 18 team now. And awesome. our first team is playing um, in the third division here in Austria. So is that professional? Uh, it's league in semi-professional, like they're getting paid, but not like they can live um, with that. Okay. Okay. Awesome, man. Yeah, here Austria is, you know, a beautiful country. I got to visit there sometime. Definitely. Clean and, and, and good vibes. But yeah, man, what's your question? Um, well, um, one thing that I'm struggling with in football, like, I'm like a good player and stuff, and I'm always improving uh, my conditioning and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, like mentally, when you're making like a mistake in the game, mm -hmm. focus um immediately but after games you know when you're at home i'm like struggling to forget stuff you know i understand that's that's a good question man so what what do you currently do what do you car so after a game uh what do you, what do you usually do like you have you know yeah just just not you analyze the game after or do you are you more of a guy that likes to analyze the game and, and i know you want to get it off your mind but would you rather analyze the game or go out with friends and family and eat something and relax you know there are two different types of people yeah, in that yeah. Realm. like i i like to analyze things especially in my in my head but um you know like if something like that happens like you miss a penalty or something like that it's just in your head and For sure yeah <laughs> yeah i mean first of all it's not easy that, that's a fact you yeah know, it's, thinking about the future is not easy i mean the past is not easy but what i try to always you know remind myself is you know thinking about the past is good to learn from you know your successes your failures thinking about the future can make you anxious but all you have is the present so what I would what I would ask yourself, what I would do is if you if you have the game on video, uh, I would watch the game, rewatch the game, write down what you did well, write down what you did poorly, and then a, a lot of the times, you know, when you think you played poorly and you rewatch it on video, maybe you actually did better than you than you thought. First of all, yeah. Um, second of all, it could kind of clean out your mind. And then what you can do, what I, what I always recommend to, to players is get your mind off football. After the game, get your mind off, you know, uh, take completely off, go hang out with friends, go hang out with family, eat something good, uh, enjoy yourself. Then the next day, you know, take a relaxing day, do some mobility, recovery day. And, mm -hmm. and then what you can do is you look back at your analysis. So if you have the game on, uh, on video, you write down what you did well, what you didn't do well. If you don't have the game on video, journal, yeah. journal, yeah. what, what? With, with the coach, so. What'd they, you say? Uh, we have good communication with the coaches. So they tell you what you did well, what you didn't do well. And that's all, okay, that's good, man. So yeah, I mean, th that's what I would recommend, you know, and then you just got to, you know, as hard as it is, like same thing in the game. Like if you, if you like misplace a pass, instead of thinking about misplacing the pass, the whole game, like the next, um, action, you just try to say next action, next action. Yeah. And what you got to do is just say next game, you know, as hard as it is, you just got to think about the next game and you got to think about what you can do this coming week to play better in, in the next game than you did last game. 
You know, you could analyze the week. Hey, maybe you didn't sleep as well uh, the week before. Maybe you didn't train enough. Maybe you trained too much. Maybe yeah. you didn't eat right. Maybe you didn't hydrate. You, you like individual to individual. You got to really self analyze yourself, see what you did well, see what you did poorly. And then what you did well, you keep doing what you did poorly. You try to cut out. Um, and, and like I spoke about with the guy before from Ireland, I think very important is in a game, man, always play to your strengths, you know, play to your strengths, whatever you do well, play to those. Yeah. And, um, yeah, man. I mean, that's that's my long-winded answer. Did it help you out? Yes, for sure. Uh, good, man. Good. So I appreciate you you coming on. Where would you find my content? Amazing. Like I I love using it for you know, um, like your recipes um, for the protein pancakes and stuff. I I love doing them. Yeah. You know, it's send me your e you know send me your email. I'll send you my my recipe uh cookbook for free oh nice yes yeah send me uh send me a dm after just write me your email right just it's alex just... from the the friday chat and i'll send you over my recipe book nice that would be awesome all right brother have a good rest of the, the day and and good luck this weekend thank you bye all right man peace out One last one. Let's get I'm in on. What it do, man? Yo, what's up, brother? How we doing? Where you from? I'm from Sweden. Okay, what part? Uh, Lean Shopping. Ah, are you the one that spoke in the yeah, chat? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, good man, good man. How old are you? Where do you play? Man, I'm 21. Currently, I don't have a team. I'm looking for one. I got injured like badly. I've been my injury okay. is very long, so like it's tough to find a you. team to play with. You. When you, like when you get injured like when you're trying to come back like they don't like most teams they don't like really want you anymore because probably somebody takes yeah. you or like I hear stuff, you. But, what like, position I do you play i play center back yeah okay awesome man so what's your question what can i help you with like how can you like come back when you have been like having so many like injuries like uh, for so long like when you missed a lot mm -hmm. of games and how you like how can you could come back for the game yeah, you it's a good I mean. question, man. For, first of all, let's break it down. Let's get some background. What What are the injuries? How long have you been out for? Like first, like my first big injury, like when I was sixteen, like I broke my ankle. Mm -hmm. I broke my ankle. How long were you I, out after that? I was like out for like, for like six six months, I think. I was out. Then oh, I came I back. Like I, like, I didn't know like anything about like the things I knew now, like nutrition, sleep, mm -hmm. like uh, rehab, proper rehab and stuff like that. So it set me back more. So when I came back, like it affected like my knees. So it affected my mm -hmm. left knee. Then yep. I injured my knee. Then I tried to mm -hmm. come back. Then I was probably like the whole 2017, like for like I was gone for like a whole year. So I was trying mm -hmm. to come back. Then I came back. Like my body wasn't right. I was tight. My body was mm -hmm. very. Uh, very high inflammation in my body and stuff like that. I hear you. So, uh huh. So, okay. Yeah. So, the first thing, I mean, what I'm hearing here is, uh, I think, first of all, like, you know, when you get injured, like you said there, man, like when you get injured, your, your biomechanics are off. You're not moving properly. Yeah. And if you come back too soon and you, you, you don't gradually increase your load, like you said, you can get injured quicker with the knees, then that could affect the hips. That could affect the low back. It all, it's all one. You know, the body is one chain, one kinetic chain. As much as people want to try to individualize it, it's a chain. Yes. So the first thing I would say is, like I've told many times, many people before, and I like this analogy, man. That's why I constantly say it. You are your own asset. So think of yourself as a business. The better you are, the better you move, the, the, the healthier you are, the better of a player you are, the more useful you are, you're going to be to a team. Yeah. So, yeah, like you said in the beginning, like, um, oh, yeah, I won't be useful to a team because I was injured. You know, it, whoever says that, put it in the back of your mind, write it down, which coach, which team, boom, use that as your motivation to, to when you don't want to train, 
Look at your notepad. Boom. Who said that they didn't want me because I'm injured? Get yourself as strong and resilient and as good of an athlete and a footballer as possible. Yeah. And once you have that confidence, then you could start reaching out to teams. So I would do that. The second thing I would do is get on to a team maybe that you think is a lower level than you. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do right now. Yeah. Be, be a big fish in a small pond. Go to the team, be the best player there, get video yourself. People will see you. Sweden's fantastic, man. The, the development in Sweden, yeah. the development in Sweden is, is, is unbelievable. Like the, the people that I've played with and seen, you know, my best friend, he, he was, I think he, six years, he was from the, the, the fifth tier to, to the yeah, first tier. I think I've seen him so, play as well. Like, he's really good. Yeah, I think. Yeah. yeah, dude, he's a baller, man. So, yeah. and, and he's, he's, a, he's an example of doing everything right, man. Like that guy's very disciplined, does everything right, does his prehab, does his rehab, eats right, sleeps well. Mm -hmm. So my advice would be get on a team, develop a good relationship with the coach. This is under look. Develop a good relationship with the coach. Show him that you are valuable to the team. And get video of your games, and then boom, from there you're out, you know. Enjoy your season, do well, mm -hmm. and then you take it from there. Don't look too far into the future. Yeah. Focus on the now. What can you do now? Find a team, make yourself as resilient, as strong as possible, good of a footballer and athlete as possible. Find a team, do well, be a good guy. Like I spoke to, the, I think, the first guy I had on here, or the second guy from India. Be a good person. Always be a good person. Be a professional. And don't just do it to get something out of someone. Yeah, be a good person to be a good person. Create a good reputation. Make your name. When they think of a min, he's a – because a lot of coaches at the higher level, they want to make sure you got good character. So yeah. show people you got good character. And then from there, man, you, you'll be good, man. Don't, don't, don't stress it too much. You're a young guy. You're in Sweden. Take advantage yeah. of it. Yes. Like, it's kind of like fucking my mind up a bit. Like maybe stronger as well, but like I think I'm 21. And sometimes I think I'm too old and stuff like that. Like, yeah, uh, it's the, the bullshit yeah. I hear all the time. Yeah, you know? but I got a lot yeah. of time on now. I'm not even worried. Like, yeah, I'm bro, working. Yeah. I'm bro, you're playing. chilling, man. Yeah, hey, yeah, you're chilling, like, dude. I'm don't like, don't stress it. Yeah, you know what? Whenever people think of age, yeah, what I always try to look at is like, first of all, you know, Wayne Rooney, that guy was 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 playing first team football at 15, 16. Mm -hmm. that, okay. Besides that, he didn't really take care of nutrition and things like that. Of course, he's yeah, a true professional. He's been playing first team football for 15 something years. And, and, you know, the guys who are just coming up, starting from the bottom, dude, you got time. Man. And especially, like you said, you didn't know about nutrition before. You didn't know about sleep. You didn't know about proper training. Use it to your advantage. Longevity of your career is much more than you think. So, like I said, take one day at a time. Don't worry about how old you are. And enjoy your football, man. Most yeah, important. Fair. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, no. Thanks. Well, yeah, man. Appreciate it. Where did you find my content? I find your content. Like, I used to watch your vlogs like way back when you were in Sweden. Like, yeah, I love that. Yeah. yeah, I used to watch uh -huh. them. So, yeah, I found them. You're an OG, yeah. bro. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, I like your content. I pre it helps yeah, I you out, my content? Yeah, yeah. I do like the, especially like the food tips. Like, now I know everything I didn't know back then. So, I used to the omelet and stuff like that like the stay away from certain foods like whole foods yeah. and stuff like that yeah so yeah. that's why I do. Dude, just like i told the last guy message me on 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 instagram you're an og mm -hmm. I'll, I'll send you my my recipe mm -hmm. my cookbook yeah thanks my guy all right man it. have a good rest appreciate of the day it. and uh yeah, stay safe thanks. Brother. thanks all right brother peace all right homies i gotta go to training uh, I appreciate all you guys and girls tuning in. I really enjoy this stuff. So sorry that the, the people that I didn't get on, I'm going to get you on next time. I promise. Uh, appreciate you all. Have a good rest of the day. Have a good weekend. Good luck this weekend. You need any help. You have any questions, reach out. Deuces, homies.